Hey guys, welcome back to another Heavy Metal Diecast video, and here we have one from Hobby Master, the 172 Air Power Series, of course. It is a MiG-21 MF uh, 2300 from the Syrian Air Force, the 5th Squadron to be more precise. I, I purchased this off a seller on eBay secondhand for $90, and that was a pretty good price. This is an older style one. Uh, the MiG-21 MF is the export version of the MiG-21 SM. Uh, the Syrian Air Force still currently field modernized versions of the MiG-21 in their Air Force. Uh, believe it or not, after all this time, uh, the Syrian Air Forces have been involved in many conflicts in the Middle Eastern region, uh, many of those uh, against Israel, uh, plus, unfortunately, their own ongoing civil war that's been <laughs> going on and off over the past decade. And uh, what we'll do is we'll open this up. It, does, it is an older style. It is a limited edition. Huh? And uh, it does have the details in the flap as per usual. And it does have that little MiG sitting snugly in the packet there. As you can see, there's a little limited edition certificate in there. Oh, yay. Something to get excited about, of course. And it's got some uh, accessories in there that are in the box that we will need to affix to the aircraft. But as we say, this is no good in the box. Let's get this little MiG out and have a real good look at it. Of course, it does come in a little baggie. It does have the stand and some uh, gear bay door accessories. And, oh, they look like little struts that have to go on. This is going to be a fun time for my sausage fingers. And it comes with a little baggie. It does have the uh, ordnance on there. So that'll be uh, cool to chuck on as well. So it does come with this uh, special collector card, which is a limited edition certificate of uh, 850 produced. So uh, there's not a lot of these made. So this... Uh, as I said, this is a little bit unusual with Hobby Master having these little certificates, but I reckon that's pretty cool. All right, let's get to the model. With the blister pack out of the box, we'll open that up and have a little look in that. Look at that. It does come with the accessories for to have the uh, cockpit open if you want to have it in the open position, and of course, landing gear. We will get this MiG out and have a bit of a look. We'll move this out of the way, of course. This is a really nice paint scheme. I actually like this. This is a, I love a bit of camouflage on my aircraft. That's always, always good. And uh, this, this one is no exception. The uh, quality Hobby Master, of course, you know, another great MIG rendition. And this one looks awesome. It does have the pilot figure already in there. We'll run down the fuselage first and have a little look. You can see those extra details on there. That is fantastic. All the Syrian markings on there. That is awesome. All those wing details. And the Syrian roundels on there. Look at that little bit of engine detail in there. Yeah, this is nice. I like it. I'll have a little look at the front. So obviously on the front here, you've got to put that little uh, pit of tube on. We will move this around and have a look on the other side. We'll run down that fuselage for you. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I do like this. This is not bad at all. The aircraft does present quite well. The library is very nice. I think it's a, a pretty pretty cool looking uh, camouflage scheme on this. Definitely. Of course, always for me, it's always about the aircraft. It's not the uh, Air Force it belongs to. It is always how, how cool the aircraft looks and how it comes up. They do have this uh, blue underneath. Sometimes it does affect the camera. So if it does go a bit funny, I do apologize for that. The uh, blue that are, are underneath a lot of these MiGs is quite uh, quite striking, which this one is. It's got that real pale blue underneath there. And we'll try and have a look at some of those details. It's got some great detail as per usual. It's beautiful. That is nice. Very, very good. Um, what we'll do, well, you know the usual. I will uh, set this up with some gear down and put the ordnance on. And we'll come back and have a look at this MiG all kitted out. All right, guys, back in a second. And, of course, if you want it wheels up, uh, it's just these four little pieces and no headaches. <laughs> all right. So ordnance-wise, it does come with these uh, three tanks. It also does come with these four air-to-air -air missiles that need to be affixed to the aircraft as well. well. Let's get stuck into it. All right, so here we have it all kitted out. Uh, for a Hobby Master one, th there was only one issue I had, and uh, I think I've had that with previous ones. It is these uh, struts here. You need to, you need these for a start off, and uh, I put a little bit of blue tack in the bottom hole just to keep it in, in place. They are nigh impossible. You've got to 
put it in that tiny little hole in there and then place it in a little hole in that gear bay door once you've got the landing gear in there as well. And that, that is really hard to do. Uh, for, for my fat ass fingers, that's definitely uh, a bit of an issue for me, but hopefully you guys don't have that sort of issue and it's straightforward for you. But boy, oh boy, it was an issue for me and I spent a lot of time trying to uh, put the uh, struts in. I, I'm, I recall my earlier MIG videos, I don't think I put those on and... Uh, I, I figured I, I've got to set one up properly for the video, so I chose I will fit this one out properly, and uh, it is it is a bit of a pain in the ass for me. But uh, if you've had uh, success and you know with your struts, hey, give me a hint in the comments below. <laughs> but uh, it does set up nice. I, I put the the whole uh, four air to air missiles on, uh, which means you have two uh, fuel tank spares. You can go either way. You can put two air-to-air -air missiles on and two tanks on, and then you'll have uh, two air-to-air -air missiles as spares. But uh, I chose chose full air-to-air -air complement, and uh, the central fuselage tank just drops over the little um, gear bay doors that you've got to place in the little hole there too. The nose wheel just drops straight in, and those uh, gear bay doors went in re relatively easily. And uh, look, overall, it's still a nice aircraft. I think it's a it's a good one. Hobby Master makes some great MIGs. It's just uh, for me. I wish they did a module that already had those struts on there and that way you could just drop them straight in and fat ass fingered people like myself won't have a problem. Turn it over, nothing falls off, which is fantastic. Of course, you put that large pit of tube in the front nose there too and uh, I reckon it does set up nicely. The canopies and, you know, it's got some nice detail on the canopy inside. The, as I said, there, there is an option to have the canopy open as well. I will take, a, take some photos of it with the open canopy as well so you can check that out. And overall, I think it, it does set up nicely once it's all kitted out, of course. And uh, it, it does come with this uh, Hobby Master stand that's uh, sort of a little cradle type one. But you do need to remove this um, central fuselage tank before you can place that on. And uh, unfortunately, so... But look, I'm very happy with it. I reckon it's a pretty cool looking unit for sure. And uh, I don't have any dramas with it, uh, apart from those struts. But look, that's probably just me anyway. What I'll do is we'll, we'll put this on, on the deck and hopefully it uh, doesn't fall apart or anything like that. It sits there beautifully. Thank baby Jesus. <laughs> we'll zoom in a fraction for you. I'll just move that a little bit like that for you so you can see it a little bit easier. And that is job done. So what I'll do is I'll take some uh, happy snaps of this uh, Syrian MiG-21 MF and uh, you can check them out with my without my sausage fingers being in the way, of course. Look, it is uh, relatively smallish for a modern jet fighter. Um, they aren't, weren't the, the hugest of aircraft, but I reckon this is a tidy looking unit for sure. And if you can you know, find one, grab one. I reckon it's uh, something a little bit different. It's not a Russian, Russian painted MiG. And uh, I reckon this is a nice one. All right, guys, I'll wind this video up. Uh, if you did enjoy this video or this MIG or anything to do with this uh, at all, hey, throw us a bit of a like. That'd be fantastic. And if you have yet to subscribe to the channel, of course, feel free to do so. That'd be great too. So once again, this is by Hobby Master. It is from the 172 Air Power Series. It is an earlier one. It is a limited edition one. It comes with that little card as well. It is the MiG-21 MF 2300 from the 5th Squadron of the Syrian Air Force during a period of 1973 to 1982. All right, guys, thank you so much for spending your valuable time once again watching one of my videos. I hope you did enjoy it. All right, you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys.